Hello everyone. Oh, recently I built a PC for my gaming with such a decent uh, motherboard, heavy configuration, good processor, but, and I installed two drive. One of them is M2 SATA SSD, uh, M2 SSD, and another one is 3.5 inch SATA hard drive. Okay, so honestly, the hard drive for storage and SSD for the Windows, just to make it faster, you know. To get the maximum advantages but recently as you can see in the window this one shows only my SSD okay but when I install uh, the operating system it shows everything was there you know but now it doesn't show after the installation finish it doesn't show anything right here so I'm worried like what's happening And you know when I install in the installation progress it showed both of the drive I did format both of them and choose the SSD for Windows but now as you can see here is only one but still if you go to the this PC and click the right button and if you go to manage for the device manager then still still we would able to see from the disk drive which is that one as you can see both of them are available it doesn't have any problem example this is my SSD and that's the one my hard drive if I click here it says the device is working properly right and from the driver also everything is fine details also it says what it is but still it doesn't show in this PC now I'm going to show you how to sort this out and this sort of problem we never had with Windows 7 Windows 7 when it is uh, the drive and format is straight away it pops up but with the new sort of motherboard nowadays it does have this issue okay so let's check it out how we can sort this out but thanks to Microsoft because Windows 10 has a uh, built-in option which is super easy very small and very smart to sort out this sort of issue so what are you gonna do you're gonna go to the search which is in right here and you're gonna type partition Create partition and format as you can see that's the one we must need to click in here okay so once you've done that you can see the actual all the active drives in here so if anything physically connected either the drive is good or not they're going to show in here so as you can see this one it says Windows which is that one and there is nothing else so Windows we can see but this is the one is not available and what's the reason somehow when I created the partition it should successful but as you can see now it shows unallocated unallocated means let me tell you something a little example when you when somebody dial you let's say your friend he dial from a new phone number it's not going to show you his name right the reason is the number comes into the call list but because of you did not save it you're gonna see just the number not the actual name okay so when allo an allocation in the actual drive it says the drive is there because of unallocated no actual placement that's the reason why you are not able to see it so same as form we're going to save this as a located drive and it's going to come up okay so let's show you how to do that so first anything don't touch in here because this is your windows and if you do that you're going to lose all your data so you must need to be careful you must need to know what you are doing i'm not worried because the drive was actually free there was nothing previous data and that is brand new so what i'm going to do i'm going to right click here from here as you can see the simple new simple volume click in here and click next don't touch anything leave it as it, as it is and then don't choose any other one just choose D and this is the drive letter you can change it what I want to do I want to put like F whatever it is then click next now from here never touch anything leave it NTFS because if you don't do NTFS if you do FAT32 or XFAT next time on the boot it might make some problem because I have experienced about that when I do XFAT or FAT32 
when I restart the system, it gave me some trouble. So what I want to do, I don't want to worry about it. I want to leave it as it is. I just need to see my drive actually in the window so I can use it. As you can see, the perform a quick format, leave it like that. Don't click on enable file and folder compression. We don't want to do that, right? So leave it like this. If you want, you can put new volume. In this case, I'm going to choose data or my data and then hit next finish it's formatting that right as you can see here this is popped up and you can able to use it so that's the actual things okay so you can close that one and yeah so that's how you can sort out this sort of issue remember a few things if your data show and for some reason the drive is not showing up and if you have important data already in there don't follow this process because if you do that you're going to lose your data right that means something else is the issue but this is if new freshly installed windows then you can follow this process and sort this out okay sometimes might be your usb drive i mean um, the actual usb uh, thumb drive if doesn't show also you can apply the same procedure and you can sort this out so thank you so much for watching guys i hope i'll see you in the next video bye for now